Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more EVE Online. Welcome back also to Galente Space in Yona is where I'm exploring. Actually, just undocked uh, after work and uh, I made a new healer just to uh, give it a little bit of a test. This one is kind of crazy, probably not very optimal, uh, but I felt like giving it another try. Uh, with like pure uh, focus on region or almost pure focus on region. So if I go to the fitting, I don't really have a lot of resistances, but I do have 220 HP per second passive regen. So let's see how we can handle a site like this. Uh, it's not exactly that the pseudo healer, that one has like way more HP and things like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it also has micro drive for a little bit of speed here and there. So let's see how we get along. Let's use our thermal drones and let's spread our missiles out. Uh, what's the range on these missiles actually 32 kilometers so that four is actually a total waste and that two is also a total waste so that two and that four should go on that guard in order to take those guys down first of all all right hammerheads are out first burn was quite all right and my god that's a lot of noise but let's get in there and let's use the micro drive so that we get into a nice position for the container of course so missiles on that guy makes sense uh, it's a battle cruiser but let's just use it let's give it all a little bit of a go while my hammerheads should just wreck everything else on their way so that one is next all right we can do a one on you we can do a three on you they're going after the guards they're taking a little bit of uh, damage here a little bit of shield damage that also does take a little bit of pressure off of my shield so that's all still fine and we are going to go one more boost so that we just get nice and ready to uh, go inside that hollow asteroid and try to grab the loot there once we destroy everything of course there it is it's the electronic uh, sealed container so that should be okay for me to do an approach now uh, one hammerhead taking quite a bit of damage, but all right, let's just keep going and especially use the missiles for the small stuff. In the meantime, my shields are doing absolutely fine, so that's great. Hammerhead taking a decent, yeah, almost all the shields are gone. Could easily manage that if I really wanted to, but I think now my missiles will start to do some real damage. Just keep going. They're also switching their target to the other one. That's a big, big mistake. So we should be fine here. Number one on this guy. Another one at four. Take that one next. Yep, they're still doing all right. Still holding up with the shields. Cruiser is finally down. And we got just a little bit left to do. Let's do two and three on the other guards. As we should now be inside the asteroid. I can stop my ship. Hammerheads are still duking it out. And we actually still have a guard on the field as well. All right, let's do a one and a two. Let's launch up to six missiles at the Corelli guards. And then my drones should do the rest. There goes the missile <laughs> from within the asteroid. While well, they also uh, fire within the asteroids. That's definitely not how it's supposed to work, but yeah, it's still a game, of course. And then finally, the hammerheads just have to take care of the Corellotis wing leader to end. And that should unlock this one, which should give me the key to the ancient acceleration gates. And he basically misses me. Yeah, shield wise, we're at 99%. We're holding it quite steadily. So that's definitely pretty good in the first room. I'm also going to do a reload of this one. The real challenge is, of course, going to be damage application on the battleship. I think one of the hardest to break targets when it comes to this exploration stuff. So let's go. Uh, let's. Yeah, I should actually. Okay, now let's see what happens if I just do an approach on the acceleration gates, add in some micro drive bursting, and hammerhead is good to go. And this is definitely a little bit different, right, compared to the Ishtar. Uh, last target is down, and I am uh, right and ready to grab the key and then to boost myself out to the gate there we go which is now taken room number two also has some uh, nearby spawns uh, i'm going to risk uh, just uh, going up towards the battleship sending my drones out there and seeing if i can basically tank the room that way um 
we do have the option of the mobile tractor unit so if i wanted to we could also like only approach up to 30 kilometers or let the battleship approaches uh, which it does quite aggressively that, that's perhaps what i should do let's try a snipe first be a little bit careful because i'm not exactly sure uh, because of my resistances if we'll be doing okay so let's try the snipe here first so that's that one i'm actually gonna approach it a little bit with one burst but we don't want to get too close so drones are out towards the operation protector if i do a show info let's see if the damage type is correct oh i should probably do kinetic actually but let's try with thermal it's also uh, normally my best skill wise damage type and let's see what the battleship decides to do oh it's not really heading towards me it's actually <laughs> it's actually firing at my drones again and so now this guy is going to basically orbit uh, all the way out there that's interesting look at how heavily they're targeted though that's a little bit annoying and ooh, they are doing pretty good damage that's actually pretty impressive but yeah this poor hammerhead let's do a return to drone base see if he can pull away there it goes taking a little bit of armor damage that's annoying we do have a kinetic that to replace it then oh man i did not expect this just these two drones are basically dishing out uh i would say enough dps so i'm gonna reapproach you then like that press f send a vespa as well while my other hammerhead is targeted but this one hammerhead is actually breaking <laughs> that battleship tank ever so slowly that is super impressive i mean this is this feels like with a little bit of management it could easily uh manage everything the same uh, even better than what the um the ishtar with the sentry drones does so that's actually very impressive uh, the battleship did decide to switch to me at this point and this guy is taking a lot of damage let's return to drone bay let's maybe just send out those missiles although uh, they're still too far away yeah that's definitely a little bit annoying but he should come towards me my shields are holding quite nicely we're almost in range of the mobile tractor units and he is in let's do another kinetic come on all right then go like that f engage and he's coming in at 32 so we should see the missiles impacts right now as well there we go and on that full dps okay so this is taking oh god damn it actually hit the microphone there but on the full dps we're gonna break this protector quite uh, handedly um but once they start to target my drones it is pretty annoying come on guys he's wrapping a lot actually but look at my shields <laughs> still holding at 94 percent as the battleship finally explodes let's do a return to drone bay and then the camera should get us back pretty quickly as well and there we are still holding steady right around the mobile tractor unit that's bringing in the loot oh these guys decide to still go out and fight that's not what i want to see and um yeah pretty easy uh tanking outside here of course which does have a couple of cruisers uh, on their optimal uh, cruiser battle cruiser on their optimal hitting me but overall pretty good and pretty easy let's do this that's not good money wise but there is a faction piece let's do scoop to cargo hold and i actually decided to go with these as well take two salvage drones let's give that a try because if i'm not mistaken potentially you get some good stuff so let's see if we get some good chances while the room should really come down on me let's see what they decide to do there we go actually salvaged don't think i'll have anything too good apparently even a total of nothing from that salvage but it is possible to do that so that's not bad next move is to whistle on let's go out there and yeah this is gonna be a new healer that i'm testing out 
Uh, focusing fully on the region, so I'm not exactly sure. Uh, kinetic thermal resistances are not that great, but you can see how strong my region is, so that's pretty nice. Uh, obviously, a little bit of drone management, but the big advantage is to have the micro rope drive and to be able to just set yourself in the right position right away, while the Ishtar always has to hold back, sit back and wait for the sentries to first do the damage and only then do the moving. It's a little bit inefficient. And another advantage, this is a faction cruiser, so it can also run some combat sites that the, uh, uh, that the Ishtar cannot. So yeah, that's my next ship that I'm exploring. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.